we're getting ready to do a smoke and uh, I've had fish in uh, brine I make using uh, uh, aloha shoyu and a bunch of other ingredients makes a pretty good brine and uh, it's been sitting in here for about two three days and so what I'm doing now is I'm straining it and uh, yes there is a pineapple in there too so but uh, anyway we're getting uh, getting it strained and we're cleaned up the racks and uh, we're going to take it out to the smoker and we're going to dry them and uh, Jimmy's going to help <coughs> so anyway this is some trout that uh, the kids and I caught uh, rainbows and arctic chars and we've uh, kept them in the freezer until we had a, a good little mess of them to uh, to um, to smoke up and we've got some pretty uh, pretty nice sized trout in here uh, some of them are a little on the smaller side but uh, these uh, these boys are are pretty good um, I think Rochelle might have got the biggest one I don't know where he went but uh, you know they're nice and they're tasty so we're gonna smoke them up and the other fish put that over there Jim on the stove these are uh, these are hooligan and uh, it's a, a fish that we net a certain time of the year and they only come just the once and it's only lasts for about uh, a couple of weeks and and that's it and they're really good smoke they're okay fried they have a lot of oil in them and uh, uh, they, when uh, the natives I guess they dry them out and they call them candlestick fish uh, they can light them and they'll stay they'll burn because there's so much oil in them but smoking they're, they're really good I can't eat too many uh, I can't eat too too many of them fried but uh, but they're really good smoked so and then uh, we did some uh, birds Jimmy get the birds out. I think they're in here. We, uh, we did uh, a few uh, spruce hens that uh, Jimmy Jimmy got up at Hatcher's Pass and they've been uh, soaking in the brine also. Uh, here. They're fairly good sized birds and uh, they've been in the brine too for, for a while so we're going to smoke them up. Uh, my wife and I used to smoke up ptarmigan uh, on ADAC and uh, we really liked them. So uh, anyway, so I'm really looking forward to smoking these and, uh, and, and letting the kids try them out. I know spruce hen is different from the ptarmigan but they're both red meat. They're both really rich. So um, I, I haven't had these smoked. So I've eaten them fried, and I like them. They're kind of a liverish uh, type of uh, bird, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll turn out all good. The, the fowl uh, will stay down at the bottom. I have some chicken legs that I'm going to smoke up for the kids too, and I have those uh, uh, right here, and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll have some smoked chicken legs too. So uh, we'll get this stuff downstairs and then we'll, uh, we'll show you uh, the setup that we do. Go ahead. Okay, so we're just now starting uh, to load the, the rack up. We've got our trout down. We've got uh, some hooligan and some more trout up here. And we've got some chicken legs down here that we're experimenting with. And now we're getting ready to put our... Uh, our um, our uh, uh, spruce hens. We'll get them in here. We want to get the bigger ones set in here. A little room here. <clears throat> Heavier meat stuff. We want to uh, we want to get it uh, closer to the heat as possible. It's 
making a little bit more room here. So, uh, no, just put it over there for right now, put the lid on. So, uh, we're going to uh, take a break just for a second from filming, and then um, once we get the whole rack up, then we'll, uh, when we'll get everything racked up, then uh, we'll come back and let you uh, see what's, uh, what's going on. Good. Okay, so uh, we've got everything racked up here. Uh, we've got our spruce hand again. We got uh, some chicken, we got uh, some uh, rainbow trout and some arctic char, and we have a lots of hooligan. Uh, we got six, one, two, three, four, five, six racks. So I thought we was going to use uh, the whole seven racks, but uh, we we're good on that. I got my charcoals going right now. I'm waiting for them to turn, uh, turn to white, and the flame goes out. And what I've done here is um, I've mixed uh, different uh, 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 wood chips together, which is uh, cherry. Uh, mystique, uh, alder, hickory, uh, applewood. Um, so I've got a good blend in there of chips and, and then I've got chunks which is uh, hickory and uh, alder. These are the bigger chunks and uh, and I'll put those on there. Uh, minimum uh, soak time of uh, 24 hours. Uh, if you can do it for a couple of days that's even better. The wetter the wood the, the more smoke you get and that's that's what you're trying to do. So uh, anyway, we're just about uh, ready to uh, take care of uh, take care of this stuff, and uh, um, we will uh, uh, get it smoking here. And we'll uh, as soon as uh, I, I start adding the chips and stuff, we'll we'll, we'll get back to you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're getting ready to start adding uh, the wood to get the to get the smoke going. So I'm just adding the last of uh, of the big chunks, and now I'm going to go ahead and set it in here. So we got that going, and now I'll take some from the bucket. For right now, until he starts get, getting really good. It'll take a little while for it to get going. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and secure the, uh, secure the smoker. Close this up here. And then uh, we'll monitor the uh, gauge here, and I'll try to keep it between uh, 90 and 100 uh, for a little while, so we can get a really good, uh, real good smoke on it. And I got two gauges. One lets me know how the top's doing. As you can see, the smoke's already starting to bellow out. Um, not very heavy yet, but it will. And I've called the uh, fire department dispatch. That's kind of what they'd like you to do if you're going to do a uh, if you're going to do a heavy smoke, and uh, so I've already contacted them, and uh, so now we'll have to wait for several several hours, and uh, we should be uh, enjoying some uh, wonderful smoked fish. Okay, thank you. Okay, now uh, I've changed things up on the smoker. I've got the door open, and. Um, now I've got a uh, propane deal, so I can get good heat. I've got some heavy, uh, heavy, uh, uh, you know, or thick meat. I've got uh, spruce hens in here, and I've got chicken, and they just weren't getting hot enough. So uh, I've uh, opted to go ahead and go with the gas, 
and uh, so I can get more heat. I get a lot of smoke with this, I, but I go through a lot of chips. So, but uh, the first two racks that were down at the bottom are done, except for the big, uh, large pieces of meat. So I brought everything down to uh, go ahead and um, and uh, get them done. It's uh, probably about another hour, and this is the uh, tank. It's it works out good. I also have a chain chain to a tree so uh, nobody can haul haul buggy with my smoker. It's an 8 foot smoker. Uh, I normally have a caribou rack on it but um, I got it in the house now. So anyway I'm gonna button it up so I, I don't lose the heat and uh, can get done with this. And that's a wrap. Okay, now here's is uh, what we have left is uh, the uh, end of our the fruits of our labor. We have uh, lots of hooligan, and um, we've got uh, some spruce hen, and we've got some uh, chicken legs. We've got uh, some nice uh, chicken legs here. And then uh, we've got uh, spruce hens right here. That's the legs. There's a nice breast there. So uh, anyway, that's what it is. It's all about. And the next uh, smoke will be uh, salmon. So thank you, and we will enjoy. Bye.